you got to identify the trends of wrestling and you got to, you got to, I think good leaders can react and adjust. I think great leaders can look ahead of the curve and say what's coming and be way ahead of the competition on that. And I think that, I think we saw some things that, that, that we really wanted to be good at that we saw wrestling was going and was kind of already there. Um, and, uh, you know, I think that was that that was kind of the key moment for us. It was like we all got together as a staff and we're like, what are we seeing? What wins? Let's implement this. And then let's say, what are the, what are the areas that we really struggled? And then we looked at it and it was just glaringly obvious some of the things that that we weren't doing enough of. Right. And I don't think it was from uh, uh, a lack of effort. I think it was from a lack of attention and mm. freedom to be you with this w w with a concept of how we're going to finish a single leg right mm -hmm. and you know how you get to the single leg to me is great but we're all going to have some basic principles when we do get to the leg mm, that's interesting man that is interesting where did you find you were most deficient um when you when you did that assessment yeah well i think the first thing we saw was we're pretty freaking tough we got our heads kicked in and we kept coming back and fighting and nobody quit. And uh, we were always really close. We were always right there. I think we were trying to um, give them too much information. We were trying to create them to where they had all the information they could possibly have to be successful. And we said, we need to rein that back. We need to focus on moving forward. You know, you know, when we're attacking our opponent, we're constantly getting an angle, attacking, angle, angle, attacking, you know, here and there. I don't want to talk too much wrestling for those who are watching this. That no, let it, no, that, look, geek out, dude, all day, okay. all day. I, and, those people, if they can tune out, if they don't listen, because <laughs> this is for me, I, I don't yeah. give a shit. <laughs> yeah. And so, you know, the first thing is we're, we're going to move forward and we're going to put pressure on people and, um, and we're going to stop attacking the middle of the body. Like we're going to stop fighting them right up the middle um, that's going to be a compliment to what we do. That's going to be like a dagger. That's going to be a sting. That's going to be a punch type attitude. Um, you know, if we do hit a hard double leg, we do hit a hard high crotch. Like it's after we've already made you move your feet and back up and take some bad shots. Right. And so, and then defense, like I want it to be, if you touch our leg, it is the longest 45 seconds of your life. And if mm -hmm. you get a takedown, it is the hardest takedown you have ever got on us in your life. And I think those two concepts right there. Oh, and I just, you know, I, I mean, I just say it this way. We're going to be absolute dogs on a wrist and on cradles. Like that's what we're going to do. And it, it just happened. You're talking about just in top position? Or... Yeah, just in top, right? Mm -hmm. um, and and those are kind of the main things. You know, I, I, I had a list that I'd written down and um, – there's definitely some more things in there I could talk about for a long time. But yeah, but let's 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 go back to the defensive part because like nobody, everybody loves to to sit and talk about you know what uh, I'll start I'll say this just a, a small story is like I I sat down with Jay Robinson about 20 years ago and I just happened to be in the same coach's room as him for whatever and he was holding court as J Rob does and 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 I got to sit down and talk to him about his coaching philosophy. And he said, well, pay close attention how you divide your practice, how you, if you're, if you want to be uh, a, a solid head hands, you know, baseline defense, you know, kind of program. And you're only spending 10 minutes a day in practice on that. Are you really putting in the, that type of effort? Are, are you really prioritizing uh, the defense and I never really kind of looked at it in terms of like just time spent in the position. I always thought of it like, yeah, give them more, give them more, give them more, give them different ideas on how to move their hands on defense, give them different ideas on what angles they should have. And all of it's kind of bullshit because you just need to spend time in that position. Right. So when you identify, you're going to be like, brick it up defense. What does that look like? And 